In PW this month, we are considering a ministry with a difference. And as you've seen from our introduction, this ministry is through teddy bears. Now we have all sorts of teddy bears in our house. We've some big ones and some small ones. We've some really old ones and really new ones. And we've some handmade ones and some from the movies. But the teddies in Spud Bear Ministries are different. They are given to children in the developing world um, to bring them comfort and happiness in the name of Jesus. Some small bears are given away to children in hospitals and schools, orphanages and clinics. And they also use solar powered talking bears, which can share the gospel message and give health education in more than 30 different languages. Colin from Spud Bear Ministries, which is based not too far away from us here, was due to come and speak to us in PW, but because of the pandemic, he has not been able to. But he kindly sent us through some videos and some information about his work. So we met Spud Bear in the introduction. He's quite impressive, isn't he? Spud Bears have solar panels that allow them to be charged in the morning and the evening when the sun is not too hot. And then they are able to tell Bible stories that are encouraging and comforting to many as they find themselves alone and fearful and isolated from family. In countries that are close to the gospel message, spud bears are able to share the good news of how the Lord Jesus comes to draw sinful people to himself and save those who could not save themselves. These days when global borders are closed, spud bears don't need passports to travel. They don't have to obey strict curfews and can be posted from time to time as the bears take on their own missionary journey. With coronavirus, a major problem in developing countries was false information spreading about what COVID-19 really was, how you get infected and how to treat it. Colin writes about children being scrubbed with bleach and young mums having disinfectant poured down their mouths, maybe as some sort of prevention because of misinformation. Colin, Colin was able to remotely update Spud Bears with COVID-19 health advice in many regions of Africa to warn people of the dangers of misinformation and give true and accurate information, preventing needless harm and therefore saving lives. This pandemic has been hard for us all to cope with. However, Spud Bear Ministries reminds us um, of the needs of others in different situations to us. Spud Bears is bringing good information where there was no or bad information. And more importantly, they are telling of Jesus' saving work on the cross to many people. At the end of Matthew chapter 28, Jesus says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This great commission is not just for special teddy bears in far off lands, but for us too. People need to hear about Jesus in our community as well. How can we be part of what God is doing both here and across the world? If you would be interested in finding out more about Spud Bears, or in financially supporting their work, check out the website spudbears.co.uk. Thank you.